Good morning, bros and girls, and welcome back to another weekly video. I was so excited to see you guys today. It is JD here, and I want to remind you guys of our key question and our bottom line for the month. All right, and so our key question is, who wants to be your friend forever? Now, do you remember the answer to that question? Who wants to be your friend forever? Yes, Jesus wants to be your friend forever. Awesome job, guys. So in our Bible story today, we are going to be talking about how Jesus fed his friends on the shore um, after he um, told them to cast their nets and to catch fish. But we'll learn more about that later. Um, but we want to focus on the part of um, Jesus having breakfast with his disciples um, after he comes back from the dead um, after dying on the cross um, he has breakfast on the shore or on the beach with his friends the disciples um, so with our activity today I want you to help me out okay so I'm gonna hold up a picture and I'm gonna tell you what it is um, it's gonna be something that we eat um, or something that we use in our food um, and I want you to tell me what goes with it, okay? All right, and so just, I want you to take a guess and tell me what you think belongs with this. And so for example, if I tell you, hey, if I ask you what goes with a fork, you could say a spoon, a spoon and a fork, they go together, all right? And so. Now, I'm gonna hold up some pictures and I want you to tell me what you think goes with this, okay? So first, we have ketchup. What goes with ketchup? Hmm? What do you think? Hmm, did you say mustard? Yeah, ketchup and mustard, they gotta go together. Good job. All right, let's think. What about peanut butter? What goes with peanut butter? What do you typically have with peanut butter? What about jelly? Peanut butter and jelly. Did you say jelly? Good job. So we eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They go together and you can have a sandwich. <laughs> All right, so what about a cheeseburger? What do you think goes with the cheeseburger? So when you go to McDonald's, or Burger King, or Wendy's, or any of those places, what do you typically get with a cheeseburger? Fries, right? All right, yes. So what goes with the cheeseburger? Fries. Now, you can have other things with it, but most of the time, we usually have fries with the cheeseburger. All right, let's do one more, okay? What do you think goes with pepper? Pepper, hmm. There's something that usually sitting next to the pepper when you go to restaurants or when you sit at your table. What do you think sit, sits with pepper? Salt, yeah, good job. All right, so salt and pepper, they go together. Awesome job, guys. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today and playing this cool activity. I hope you were able to learn something and play along with me. All right, so I'll see you guys next week. Bye. No matter what, no matter what, Jesus' love for me will never change. No way, eh. He's always there, he's always there, taking care.
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Oh, hi friends, I'm Manny. I'm so excited to be here. I got this great idea to surprise my friends by making them breakfast today. It's just the only thing I know how to make are sandwiches. Sandwiches are okay for breakfast, right? I have peanut butter. And what goes with peanut butter? Shout it out. It's Jelly! Peanut butter and jelly go together. I've got a lot of sandwiches to make. Can you help me? Great! Pretend to make sandwiches with me. Set out two pieces of bread. One, two, good job. Now scoop up some peanut butter. Gloop, gloop. Then spread it on the bread. Swish, boosh. Swish, swoosh. Now scoop up some jelly. Scoop. Quick, spread it on the bread before it slides off. Slip, slop, slip, slop, slip, slop. Now stick the pieces together. We did it! We made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. My friends are gonna be so excited. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Making peanut butter and jelly, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I can't wait to give my friends a surprise breakfast. Breakfast is great. It's true. I know of another surprise breakfast, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hmm. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. I just finished a long walk delivering mail and now I'm really hungry. It's almost my lunch time. Hmm, what should I have for lunch today? Should I have spaghetti and meatballs? Or macaroni and cheese? Or peas and carrots? Oh, maybe I should have some fish. Did you know some people eat fish for breakfast? That reminds me of today's true story from the Bible. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today, we're going to talk about what happened after Easter. Easter started out sad. Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But did he stay in there? No! Jesus came back just like he said he would. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Soon after that, some of Jesus' friends were fishing. All of a sudden, they saw Jesus standing on the beach. They were so excited to see him. Show me your excited face. Yes, good job. Jesus cooked fish and told his friends to come and have breakfast with him right there on the beach. They were so happy to be with their good friend Jesus again. They knew that Jesus loved them and that he would always be their friend, forever and ever. And there's more good news. 
Jesus loves you so much, and he wants to be your friend forever too, forever and ever. That is so awesome. Jesus is alive, and he wants to be your friend forever. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus came back to see his friends. And he wants to be your friend forever, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. Jesus made a special breakfast for his friends and told them that he wanted to be their friend forever. Jesus wants to be our friend forever, too. I think I've got the story. Did you get it? If you did say, got it. Get it? and jelly go together. But the best things that go together are my friend Jesus and me. See you next time. Bye. I am with you always, Matthew 28, 20. I am with you always, Matthew 28, 20.